welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing this three tier cake with a ruffling technique at the bottom. So let's get started. So for the bottom layer, my cakes are now perfectly leveled. It's time to fill them with the raspberry filling, stack them, crumb coat them, and just give them that perfect buttercream coating on the outside so we can cover in navy blue fondant. I am not a fan at all about filling cakes with jarred jam. Um, I try to actually make my own jam, so for this raspberry filling, I did throw the fresh raspberries in a blender and then ran it through a sieve to get rid of as many seeds as I could. Um, and then in a saucepan, I brought it to a boil with some sugar and cornstarch. All right, good enough, so that's our crumb coat. Let's pop that in the fridge and we'll get working on the middle layer and top layer. So this is the top layer, so again it's a strawberry cake with strawberry and cream filling and look how cute! Isn't this the cutest cake bun you ever did see? It's a little 4 inch cake but look! I think it's people's. How cute! All right, so let's place our first ruffle. And I have this wet napkin I'm going to rub onto the cake. And actually, this is the same method that I use whenever I want to do like a faux leather look where it's like shiny. Um, so you don't need a fancy steam or nothing like that, just a good old wet napkin. And this will kind of create a sticky surface, hopefully enough for us to stick our first um, ruffle on. So I have this already kind of pre-made, but let's stick that there and let me just hold into place how I want it. And also if you want to use toothpicks to hold any of this up, by all means do that because some of these may be a little heavy after a while, but these are, this is a one inch, a one inch um, cutter that I used. So, you can see that. That's what that looks like on the side and we're going to build off of this. So this is the tool that I'll be using to cut the width of these ribbons. I, this is my favorite tool. 
It's a Wilton uh, ribbon cutter, and I'm sure I've mentioned it before. I, I tend to use it quite often, but you can change the edges here um, with these other ruffles, or you can keep a straight edge. And this is, uh, I believe I have it on half inch setting. So I cut out my strip of fondant and I have it laid over a freezer paper and over a sponge. And I'm using this ball sculpting tool to roll out the edges along here to give me that ruffle. So I push out like that. And then once I'm done doing that all along, then I peel it off of this freezer paper and stick it onto the cake. So pretty easy, it's just very tedious work. I'm sure there's some non-stick sponges that you can use, but it didn't have one handy. So again, adapt, improvise, overcome. All right, so once I'm done with that, let's peel this off. And wrap over the rosette we already have in place and just expand off of that. Let's start from the bottom. You know what, I am going to use another sculpting tool to kind of pinch the bottom edges in place because it's kind of not really working in my favor right now. I have this tool with this edge. Oh, there we go. And I'll be using this to press down at the bottom. I ended up putting some toothpicks in place because it needed some extra support in certain areas. So we can always take that off later.
Alrighty, so as you can see, we are done. Um, it was a lot of tedious, repetitive work, but at the end, it's so well worth it. I mean, look how pretty all this texture is. So, meanwhile, the ruffles dry up. Let's move on back to our top tier layer so we can get that painted. So moving on to our top layer, I am going to paint it rose gold with Truly Mad Plastics powder. Now I've used their other products before um, as far as the gold powder that they have, silver, and it's the best product that I've found for edible food that's got the right shine, it's not too transparent, so I really do love their stuff. Um, so this is the powder and you just add some vodka to this to give you um, that paint consistency. And you end up finding the sweet spot where you don't want it to be too runny. You don't want to add too much liquid. So you do end up finding the right consistency and the right ratio. I just kind of eyeball it. But look how beautiful that looks. It looks like copper almost. So let's try this first layer on first and see if it's too watery. And if it is, we'll just add more powder. You know what? It's, I think it's perfect. Now, I believe you could add this to an airbrush machine, but unfortunately I don't have one. So I end up using um, the paint method instead. And I will be adding a little bit more powder. If you do want to go back and maybe add another layer of paint, I do recommend that you wait until this first layer is dry um, because then it starts to kind of get a little funky. But isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. All right, so let's go ahead and start removing these toothpicks. My ruffles are pretty dry at this point. And it's time for the fun part where we start stacking the other cakes on top. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna add our support system and I'll be using boba sticks, boba straws, my bad. I'll be using boba straws to um, put on the bottom layer. I usually go with four. And then I'll be adding, um, stacking the other layers on top. Okay, so I'm going to stick in the four straws as center as possible. And I love using boba straws just because they're so easy to cut. I don't have to use a saw or anything if they're like the wooden kind. And they're pretty strong, so I would definitely not use straws though for anything heavier than what we're doing today. the middle one and this one will be poking through our middle layer to make sure it doesn't wobble around but I want to make sure it's perfectly centered so I'll be right back all right so I know this is the diameter of my middle layer cake so it would be in the center of that where I want to place my straw and this will be poking through the middle layer just so it's not flopping around and just to be extra safe I am going to place some icing to act as a glue. Alright so let's get stacking. Okay honestly this is the least fun part for me but it has to be done. Also, the drum that I have underneath this middle layer, I forgot to point it out, but it does have a hole. 
cut in the middle. Now Wilton does create that product that has the pre-cut hole, um, but for me, I actually had to create a template to be able to find my center. So that's cake one. So on to cake two. Okay, so I want to repeat the process for the top layer, making sure that I cut my boba sticks. I'm going to use just two this time. My light went out. I'll be using two this time since the top layer is so tiny anyways, it's not that heavy. But just to be on the safe side and making sure that it doesn't cave in, I will be adding more support. And this is the template that I had created for the top layer's drum underneath. So essentially, I fold it into fours, cut this part, and that's how I know where my center is and where the straws need to run through. Um, this is a template that I had created for this middle layer as well. That's a little too tall. And then my straw in the middle. So I'll put this down here and I'll place the straw through the hole. And this hole actually runs through all the way to the center, or to the bottom layer. And again, just some icing to glue it all in place. I may be adding a ribbon too, just to hide, um, to create a seam because I can see the cardboard underneath here from my point of view. Okay, and finally the little cake. So I'm doing my best here, trying not to touch any of the painted areas, but it's super hard. Plop. Let me create some ribbons and that'll just about conclude our cake. I will be adding flowers though, but the flowers will actually be at the location where I'll be delivering the cake. So I'll show you guys a video of that later. Now that I have that ribbon in place, let's go ahead and paint it the exact color as the rest of the cake. And I have to be super, super careful that I don't paint the bottom layer. No pressure. We got this. So, what do you guys think so far? Do you like it? Do you love it? Comment below your thoughts. Alright. So, top layer done. Let's work on our bottom layer. We're on the home stretch. I can feel it. So that concludes today's cake. If you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!